on GGSP, we bounce into action with a review of KO the Kangaroo. I have to help her. Please don't try to stop me, Mum. Plus, another challenge accepted as we cope with a shared controller. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Stay in the gap! Stay in the gap! Go both! Go okay! Both. Oh, another one. Ah! <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just gonna run. Welcome to GGSP. I'm Rad. And I'm Jax. You know, Rad, after playing KO the Kangaroo this week, I've been thinking, why aren't more games based on Australian things? Oh, good point. Um, there's Ty the Tasmanian Tiger and the game Paperbark. Well, do um, AFL and cricket games count? Or, uh, you know what, this should totally be like a spooky-ass bunyip game. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. Or a game where you play as a spin effects hopping mouse, you know, because they live in the desert, so their urine is solid to conserve water, and maybe it could be like ammo or something. Please, someone make that. Oh, you know what? If you at home have a cool Aussie game idea, send it in. We want to know what you got. Oh, maybe it'll inspire the next generation of Aussie game devs. But for now, it's time for the gaming news at the Scoop Desk with Jax. With Jax. Oh, right, I'll get to it. Hey, everyone, I'm Jax. And I and welcome to the weekly gaming scoop. You will not believe your eyes for our first story. 10 million fireflies have been cut from the latest Minecraft update. The wild update is inspired by the spooky aspects of nature, introducing new areas like the deep, dark, and mangrove biome. There are also new mobs being added, like frogs and tadpoles. Alongside this, there was supposed to be the introduction of fireflies, cute Minecraft bugs that could light up the night sky and work as a food source for the frogs. But as it turns out, most species of fireflies are poisonous to toads and frogs. Minecraft fans and the scientific community were kind enough to point this out, so Mojang has decided to remove them from the update. I'm glad the frogs are safe, but the fireflies will be missed. Seems like instead of filling the open air, they left teardrops everywhere. Do you think we'll get them in another update, Jax? I'd like to make myself believe, because nothing else is ever as it seems. Now, speaking of Mirage images, there's a new Ditto Pokemon card. Or is there? Ditto is a Pokemon whose special power is to transform into other Pokemon. And he's gotten so good at it, he can even hide in real Pokemon cards now. When looking at a card, make sure to see if there's a tiny Ditto icon on the bottom left, because it might just be a sticker hiding the purple menace underneath. He is most likely hiding behind Pokemon like Bidoof, Pidgey, and Ekans. Ooh, speaking of card games, there's an all-new Marvel deck builder called Marvel Snap. Snap! Marvel Snap is a new digital card game where players will be battling against each other to collect cosmic cubes. The game is being developed by some of the people who made Hearthstone, one of the biggest deck builders ever made, and will feature new twists on the genre by introducing smaller decks and super quick matches. The team is collaborating with heaps of independent comic book artists to design each superhero's card. Some have 3D animation, some are rare 8-bit variants, and some have iconic voice lines. Oh, snap! Next up is a story about people who trip over. Are you talking about Fall Guys? Yes. The video game Fall Guys will soon be going free to play on all platforms and feature things like crossplay and new cosmetics. And that's not all. In addition to being free, the game makers are also adding a level creator to rival Little Big Planet and Mario Maker. This mode will let players flex their creativity and build battle royale stages from scratch. I can't wait to see what people will come up with. I want an area that looks like a giant donut with sprinkles and explosive cannons. Oh, well, that's all the stories we've got for now. It's back to the studio. Hello, Rad and Jax. Hi, Hi Elsa. What's up? I have been tasked with continuing to issue gaming-based challenges to you humans to ensure your skills stay sharp. Oh, great. Today Controller Split Challenge. You'll each operate one half of the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con as you take on a classic platformer, Super Mario Bros. One person controls the movement, the other controls the jumping. Well, I'm not the best at platformers, but hey, two heads are better than one, and maybe two controller halves are as well. Yeah, at least we'll be in it together. Challenge accepted. Da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs> Let's-a-go! <laughs> 
All right. Uh, oh, okay. So I'm on jump. I am on movement. All right. Sway up. Oh. Uh, ah! Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Don't move into it. He's so it. slidey. Okay, here we go. It's okay. Two lives left. We got this. It's all we need. <laughs> I'm going to go over him. All right, cool. Should we get the mushroom? Yes. Oh! Get the coins Second as well. Block. All right. Oh, okay. Um, mushroom big. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, uh, oh, oh. We got it. I was about to say this is actually going quite well, but. <laughs> that was so scary. No, 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 this is no. actually like. All right. Okay. okay. There's a cliff. That's a big cliff. All right, I'm going to run up. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, look, it's the coin block. You can get 10 of these, right? Oh, just two. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> two careful, careful, careful. Too short. Oh, thank goodness. We're doing okay. Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> okay. Stay in the gap. Stay in the gap. Go both. Got okay. Both. Oh, another one. Ah! <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just going to run. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, we're good. We're just petite. I don't think we'll... Will we get okay. stuck? No! Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay. okay, okay, steady on. No, no, no! He was very slidey. Okay. Three, two, one, jump. Yep, okay. Three, one more. two, one. Okay, 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 uh, okay, okay. okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought one you were more. going straight Sorry. for it. Okay. I will, we'll jump on the top and then I'll run. Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Running. All right! That was a lot easier than I made it out to be in my head. Ah! He's okay. very slippery. Ah! I'm sorry, no! sorry, that was... That's okay, that's all right. One life left? Uh, yeah. All right, let's do it. Oof, okay, I'm gonna keep going. All right, ooh, shell. Jump. Nice, nice. Jump. Nice. Okay. I'm Jump. gonna keep going. Yeah. We can get past this easy. I'm gonna go. Yep. Cool. Excellent. Nice. I feel like we were stopping too much before. You know, like the momentum, he, he, you know. I mean, the movement's down to you, my friend. Oh, well, yes. Oh, we did it! Nice. First try. Too easy. Yeah. That was just a warm-up. Now you must take your cooperative controller skills into 3D. I take back what I said about it being too easy. I've never played Super Mario 3D. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm still on movement. And I'm controlling the camera and jumping. This is very dizzy with the camera. OK, you ready? Let's do it. Jump. Oh. Get in the tube. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> right. oh. Uh, hey, we can That's skip fine. It. That's fine. Oh. Sorry, I was going for the coins. Cool. Flying through we're doing, we're doing well. Easy. OK. Oh, get it. Get Mushroom. It. All right, nice. Whoa, you can wall jump. That's pretty sick. Go. Uh. Control. Sorry, I'm going. <laughs> Okay, Go. I'm going up. This is good. This is good. I'm gonna take the tube. I think if I just don't move the camera, it's actually. Oh, helpful. he's coming. Okay, we should I'm jump going. on him. Oh, we're gonna go that way. Okay. Ah! We made it. Oh, that was <laughs> stressful. Yeah. That was more stressful than it needed to be. Oh, we did it. Did we oh. do it? Is that the flag? Is that a checkpoint? Ah, uh, we gotta keep going. That's all right. The camera changed. Oh, there's a bunny. Come here. <laughs> Let's, Let's get, get the guy. bunny. Oh, we're so close. It's Easter time. Oh, whoa, this dash is pretty cool. I don't think we're going to catch him. It's too quick. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh. All right, let's try a butt stomp. How do you butt stomp? Uh, when I, I jump, press... you press down. So I'll jump. Yeah. OK, ready? OK, butt stomp time. Jump, trigger. Hey! Ooh, we got this. All right. Anything? Should we try and butt stomp this? Ah! Yeah, sure. Let's do it. OK, ready? Ready? Oh. No! <laughs> we got the crate. Let's just keep going. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's get out of here! I don't trust myself to do that. Um, how do we get up? Oh, a tube. The power of the tube. Take the steps. Oh, so many coins. Oh. OK, you ready? We're going to get the top of this flag, I promise you. OK, I'm going to run. You, you think ready? you can do it? Yeah. OK, you ready? Whenever you're ready, let's okay. go. I'm running. I forgot to jump. That's OK. Let's go again. Let's put right, something. Right. OK, one more. For the stairs. <laughs> we, can, we can do this. We can do this. We can get one flagpole at the top. All right. Our powers combined, okay. we're one whole player. All right. I'm running. Yeah. 
Cheers, Jax. A job well done. That was surprisingly harder than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's tougher than it looks, but great jumping, right? <laughs> what did you think of that, Isa? Job well done. Your reward for completing the challenge is a shift at the Ask FP desk. Yes. Would have preferred cake, but... Mm -hmm. Alrighty, it is that time of week once again. Bin night. No, not bin night. Wait, wait is it bin night? Oh, I, I meant that it's Ask SP time. It just depends on what council area you live in. Well, let's have our first question then. And this is a video from Evie. Hi, DGSP. I'm Evie and I'm Ken. I have two questions for you. My first question is, how do you get into Rose Tower in Pokemon Sword? And my second question is, how do you get mushrooms in Animal Crossing? Thank you, bye. Thanks, Evie. We better have a spoiler alert here, just in case. If you're wondering how to get into Rose Tower in Pokemon Sword, or Shield for that matter, well, first you'll need to get the key card to catch the monorail to Rose Tower. To do this, you must first find the sunglass wearing League staff member in Winden, who Oleana says has the key card. Keep an eye out in the plaza for a guy who is right up next to this purple building with his back to you. You'll need to get his attention with a little bit of dialogue. This will then trigger a series of Pokemon battles with the guy, who you discover is Macro Cosmos's Eric. He'll run away after the battle, so you'll need to find him again in the plaza twice more. Mm, eventually, after defeating Eric in battle three times, he'll run to the monorail terminal, where peers will help create a distraction so your crew can grab the keycard. Then you can take the monorail to Rose Tower and head on in. As for how to get mushrooms in Animal Crossing, well, mushrooms are a seasonal item in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and they appear in the last month of the autumn or fall season. So, depending on which hemisphere you selected when setting up your island, this will either be during May or November. Most of the different mushrooms tend to spawn around the bases of trees, but there are also so-called rare mushrooms that you need to dig for like you would with fossils. They kind of look like truffles to me. Oh, and that is no truffling matter. And now there is the next video from Oscar and Harvey, because it contains a noob alert. <gasps> Hello, GGSP. We have two questions for you and a noob alert. Question one, can you review the Sonic movie 2 Question two, can you review uh, Sonic Origins and Frontiers when they release? And now for the noob alert. When you reviewed uh, Chocobo Racing, you said that the people who made it were Final Fantasy, even though that the people who made it were Square Enix, and Final Fantasy is just one of the games that they made. Bye. Thanks, Oscar and Harvey. We'll deal with that very alarming noob alert in a moment. Yeah. Uh, to your first question about whether we'll review the Sonic movie number two, well, I don't think we will. We did offer up our thoughts on the first movie on our channel a few years ago, but I don't think we'll get a chance to review the sequel. Speaking of reviews, though, if you want to know if we'll review Sonic Origins, which is a collection of remasters of some classic early Sonic games, and or Sonic Frontiers, which is the upcoming open-world-style adventure game in the main Sonic game series, I'd say we'll strongly consider reviewing both of those when they come out. Mm, consider it indeed. And now for this very troubling noob alert. <clears throat> so, Oscar and Harvey are suggesting that we suggested that Final Fantasy made the Chocobo GP game. Hmm. But I do not think that we did suggest that. That's right. We said the game was set in the Final Fantasy universe, meaning that it's set within the fictional in-game world of Final Fantasy. Chocobo GP is a colourful kart racer set in the Final Fantasy universe. In no way did we imply that the game was developed by Final Fantasy. So I think we're safe on this one. Maybe we're safe from the Noob Cup altogether if Darren's off in outer space. That'd be pretty good. <laughs> Um, uh, hello, Rad and Jax at the Ask SP desk. How may we help you? Hello, Icy here. My sensors have detected a noob alert. Oh, th uh, there's nothing like that going on here. Nothing to worry about, Isa. Uh, we've dealt with it ourselves. Thanks for calling. Oh, uh, qu qu quick question. Uh, can we still get noob cupped? I'm asking for a friend. Most definitely. I've obtained Mumbot's special noob cup recipe, and I've completed the noob cup training module. So, in the event of an upheld noob accusation, I'll be ready to bust some noob. Yikes. Well, um, thanks, Isa, I guess. Catch you later. You're welcome. Bye. Well, that sure is unsettling. But let's have one more video, shall we? And this one 
It's from Jackson. Hi, GGSP. My name is Jackson. I have two questions and two emojis. My first question is, have you ever reviewed the game Neon Racer by Freeze Nova? And my second question is, what's your favourite Spawn Egg in Minecraft Education Edition? These are my two emojis. I'll do the first one. I can't fucking big limbs. And I'll do the second. <laughs> by GGSP. Thanks, Jackson. In answer to your question about whether we've reviewed the game Neon Racer, well, no, we haven't. From the looks of it, it's a simple little in-browser 2D endless driver platformer kind of thing. Yeah, it seems like it came out back in 2020 and not really something we'd review now. But if you like that style of game, you might also like to try out the Alto games on mobile for something similar but a bit more polished. As for our favourite spawn egg in Minecraft education, well, I am quite the egg expert, aka expert myself. And my favourite spawn egg in Minecraft Education Edition is probably the NPC spawn egg, because it's all rainbow coloured. Uh, what about you, Jax? Uh, well, for me, it's less about the egg itself and more about what you're spawning from the spawn egg. So I'm going to choose the axolotl spawn egg, because axolotls are just so cute. I love the idea of spawning an adorable army of axolotls using spawn eggs. An army of axolotls? That sounds equal parts terrifying and amazing. But for now, that's all the Ask SP time we have. If you've got a question for us, go here to send it in. And remember, if it's a video that we pick for the show, you'll score some very nice GGSP loot. Uh, so, Jax, with this army of axolotls, do they have, like, ranks and stuff? Like, is there an admiral axolotl? Or maybe little army uniforms? Oh, to be honest, I hadn't thought that far ahead. Can't see why not. Okay, Rad, it's KO the kangaroo time. Your challenge for this review is to make it through without saying a single kangaroo pun. Oh, Jax, why do you hate fun? Okay, I'll get it all out of my system now. We can kanga do it. I can pouch for this game. Grass is tail, coat of arms, Joey! Okay, I think I'm good now. Let's hop to it. Woo! <laughs> is back after a 17-year hiatus with a game simply called KO the Kangaroo. Now, I've never played the series, and I'm betting most Spawnlings watching haven't either. Have you, Jax? No, I'm a KO noob. <laughs> Thankfully, that doesn't matter because this is a fresh reboot, smoothing out some of those jagged edges from the Dreamcast and PlayStation 2 days. <laughs> you play as KO, who's on the hunt for his missing sister. Harry KO, it's time! Bouncing and fighting your way through a series of colorful worlds with the help of his koala mentor. Must forget everything I think I know. And a pair of sentient boxing gloves. So it's true. You really are corrupted. Zany hijinks and wackiness ensue, as they so often do when chatting with talking sportswear. Ah, oh, a classic caper. As you explore the levels that make up the wider game, it is easy to see where KO gets its inspiration from. The 3D platforming, single button combat, and occasional chase sequences really reminded me of old Crash Bandicoot games. It's not a carbon copy, but without a background with the series, it's hard not to make that comparison. Yeah, I know what you mean. Although, I'd say it's taken the best elements of those titles and tried to make them its own, though. In a fight, KO can combo enemies and build up power for a special area attack that knocks out multiple foes in slow motion. And those fancy moves aren't just limited to his close-up encounters. While traversing each level, you can rail grind along tracks, use KO's long ears to move through nets, and throw boomerangs imbued with magic. And that's not even the coolest part. The gloves! Not only do they talk, but they open up a window into the eternal world by using crystals. Which lets KO move across hidden platforms and through solid walls. It's not used as frequently as I would have liked, but it's still a neat concept. And for a game as short as this, only about four or five hours long, it's nice to have a different way to navigate each level. Which is good, because exploration is key to progressing. Each new area has to be unlocked by collecting a certain amount of runes that you find scattered around. I didn't need to do too much backtracking to find them all, but it pays to keep your eyes peeled and find those hidden away paths. 
Ending each area is a boss fight, which puts all your skills to the test. Most were fairly straightforward, just waiting for them to reveal a weakness or opening to attack, so you can button mash them into oblivion. But there were a couple that needed a more precise hand. Like trying to time spin kicks to launch flaming barrels at this giant ape. I wouldn't say they're particularly meaty encounters, though. Yeah, it's a pretty laid-back game, especially because you've got an abundance of extra lives and health drops at every checkpoint. My biggest gripe, though, is probably with the quality of the voice acting, because it's kind of weird hearing a native Australian animal sound like, well, this. It was more than that. It was like, Kaya was trying to tell me something. Maybe she knows what happened to Dad. Crikey, mate, that's odder than a croc wearing a hat. But I will still say it's better than some fake Aussie accents I've heard. Oh, yeah, mate. Let's throw another shrimp on the barbie and wrap this one up, eh? Who are you? As far as reboots go, KO the Kangaroo does a good job of injecting some modern twists into an old formula. There's not a whole lot of challenge to the gameplay itself, but moving around the world is fun and engaging, which for a 3D platformer is really important. They get the basics right, but I don't want just basics. I want gravy, a cherry on top. So I'm giving it two and a half out of five rubber chickens. Yeah, for fans of the original, I'm sure KO the Kangaroo will scratch that nostalgic itch. But for newcomers though, I don't feel the game's made a big enough leap in its design to compete with those meteor titles. But what's here is still fun, and those slow-mo punches in particular feel awesome. Yeah. Overall, it's short, sweet, and simple. Perfect for a rainy afternoon vegging out on the couch, but not something I'd see myself playing more than once. I'm giving KO the Kangaroo three out of five rubber chickens. I came here to kick your butt and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. That's all the time we've got on GGSP this week, but next week on the show, we find out what happens when you delve into the puzzle-filled dungeons of Dreadrock. Whoa, puzzles meets RPG. I am so in. Now, don't forget that we are on the lookout for some super-skilled spawnlings to join our GG spawn squad. Head to our website here for details on how you can audition. You might get to come in here to the Den of Gaming and show off your video game skills to us and all the GGS peeps at home. So apply now. Until next time, be nice, have fun, and keep gaming. Red out. Jack's out. Hey, Red, can I join the Spawn Squad? Uh, we'll have to see your audition video first. <laughs>